What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? This is your boy Is Nefarious, and I am here for another edition of your favorite series. Here we go, following the Pittsburgh Steelers of the Premier Madden League, and we left off at preseason. Now it is Week One. We're diving straight into the season. First, let's see what we're dealing with. For week one and let's see some new storylines that are developing all right here we are week one against the buffalo bills and you're thinking to yourself we played the buffalo bills week one last season well apparently madden said screw it you got the buffalo bills again this season uh week one uh we do play the afc east this week uh this season so it does uh, match up a little bit, but we're surprised that we got on week one. But we get this game out of the way. Hopefully, it's a different outcome than last time. First, let's set our season goal. As you know, we always set our season goal. And this season, uh, should we go for seven wins? We did make the playoff. We did uh, make the playoffs last season. Do we try to make the playoffs this season? Um, it's tough to do it in the AFC North. If we do it, we got to win our division. Now, do we say we can win our division? It's a tough call. Um, you know what? We ain't, we're here to make the playoffs. We ain't here to make. We ain't here to get seven wins. We're here to make the playoffs. So let's try to make the playoffs. We're gonna put our eggs in our own basket and try to make the playoffs. All right, opening day, key to victory. So let's see the storyline dominate. The same storyline as last season. Do we want to dominate on offense? Uh, stifling defense. We want to make sure we're stopping them on defense because we're going to live and buy our by our 85 overall defense. Well, I'm trying to keep overalls out of it, but we're going to try to live by our defense. Um, so disrupting the pass or stuffing the run, we're going to disrupt the pass. We're not worried about the run, disrupt the pass. He just made a huge trade. He's not the only one that was making trades for wide receivers, so we'll get into that in a second. But we want to dis disrupt the pass, allow less than 200 yards passing, and we got to beat the Bills. Uh, focus, focus the gameplay on a game plan on doing exactly what we want. So let's dive over to the Buffalo Bills roster and take a look at what we're dealing with this week. So taking a look first off, uh, first and foremost, you got Josh Allen, cannon of arm, same Josh Allen that we had to deal with. Matt Breida, very fragile. Maybe we could injure him. Um, not gonna really. Uh, he's, he could hit a home run, but he's not gonna uh, beat you up inside. So uh, we want to hit him, hit him hard. Hopefully get a fumble. Uh, because he doesn't have great carrying and also he's very prone to injury so if we can knock him out then it's definitely beneficial to us uh the fullback we won't really see uh, the big trade dk metcalf comes over from the seattle seahawks for four first round picks or something like that something ridiculous like that but dk metcalf is now the number one wide receiver while Stephon Diggs is out. When Stephon Diggs comes, now he has DK Metcalf and Stephon Diggs. He did get rid of Cole Beasley in the in the process, but you'll take DK Metcalf. Um, 96 speed, absolute uh, monster of a man. Um, very fast. DK Metcalf is very fast. Uh, very tough, tough to deal with. So we'll have to deal with him come uh, this week. Hopefully, uh, good news is we don't have to deal with Stephon Diggs and him at the same time. So uh, this is what he's wrong with wide receivers. Uh, taking a look at the tight ends, you got Dawson Knox, Zach Ertz. Uh, only two tight ends. I think he has to bring one more tight end in. Um, taking a look at the offensive line, pretty solid. Um, you know, nothing too crazy, but a, a solid offensive line. Definitely not a, a, a terrible offensive line, but not a good one at the same time. Um, defensive line is pretty weak. Uh, he does have Ed Oliver, who's really solid uh, and a great young player. But he still has a, a pretty weak defensive line. And his front seven as a whole, besides Terrell Edmonds, who has proven to be a star in the league, is very weak. Um, taking a look at his defensive backfield, though, very, very strong. Uh, you got Tredavious White. You got uh, Jason Verrett. Uh, Fabian Moreau. He has a lot of speed. Uh, you know, very strong defensive backfield with uh, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. And then he traded for Ashton Davis, who is very athletic and a, and he traded for Ashton Davis, who's very athletic and a problem to deal with. So Ashton Davis definitely got to worry about him. Um, but on this, on when it comes to the Bills, the two people we want to focus on is uh, we want to focus on DK Metcalf and Josh Allen uh, on the offense. Want to focus on that pass, and then on the defense, we're gonna focus on um, Tre'Davious White. Don't throw to Tre'Davious White. Don't test those safeties. Keep the ball on the ground. Stuff like that. Um, let's jump over to our roster and let's see any storylines that we have to pay attention to this season. 
All right, right off the bat, first storyline, we got to pay attention to Jared Goff versus JT Daniels. JT Daniels is there and waiting, but Jared Goff is our starter right now. So Jared Goff is definitely on the hot seat. Make sure he's part uh, playing well, or he might end up as the backup. Uh, Najee Harris, obviously, is going to be our uh, feature on offense. Run with him, uh, run left, run right. Uh, we're probably going to run more towards that right tackle. So uh, we got Amari Cooper. Definitely want to get him involved in some play action. We still have Chase Claypool, who's a problem as well. George Pickens is a rookie we really like. Um, this roster is a lot better than it was last season. We got Rob Gronkowski, who's really solid um, in the run game. So I think we're going to be able to set up that power run. Offensive line has improved. Kendrick Green, we realized that we want to get him out in space. He is a very athletic guard. And he is able to, you know, get into that second level pretty quickly and lead uh, Najee Harris up the field. So definitely want to get him swinging on some power runs. Uh, AJ Kane solid in the center. Trey Turner, our offensive line is way better than it was last season. At least it's not terrible. It's solid. It's not great either. It's not good. It's it's okay for now. Um, Stefan Tuitt having him from day one is going to be huge. Cameron Hayward. Uh, Jordan Davis has shown great potential. He looks like he's going to be a superstar in this league. It's great to have that. Uh, left outside linebacker, uh, we still got TJ Watt. Uh, Devin Bush, Jermaine Carter. Uh, we kind of went through this the other day. Um, Jer Jeremiah, Moon, uh, Jeremiah Moon looks like he's going to be really solid as well. So we got to pay attention to him. Uh, Gardner looks like a shutdown corner. I think he's going to be great for us. Um, Damon Arnett is solid. Uh, our cornerbacks are better out the gate. It's an overall better defense than it was out the gate uh, when we played the Bills the last time. So it's going to be interesting to watch. So setting up the uh, the game day goals, we want to own time of possession. That's going to be a key to winning this game. Time of possession. Keep that offense off the field. Time of possession is going to be key. Uh, rush for 150 yards. I'll take that. Uh, we're not going to do the turnovers. We might have one. We might have two. Uh, we want to rush for 150 yards. Uh, defensive coordinator. Uh, sack the QB three times, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll go with sack the QB three times. We're going to get a lot of pass rush. Uh, try to control that, that game clock. Try to make sure that he's not uh, throwing the ball downfield. He's taking things underneath. Uh, weekly game plan. Uh, just taking a look at this. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, if we could force him into at least one interception, I think we feel good about that. So that's going to be the weekly game plan. Now let's start the training. Actually, let me change the focus players, then we'll start the training. All right, so now that we got everything set up, let's start the training. Let's hope that everybody is healthy because we did have a lot of starters going. Um, they might lose a little bit of fatigue. Uh, we didn't split a lot of people. We split a few positions that we thought we could. Um but hopefully everybody's healthy. We don't see any injuries yet. Half pads, perfect. Nobody injured. Uh, hopefully we get a roll. Uh, that would help. Uh, but let's jump into the game and let's see how I do against the Buffalo Bills. All right, so here we are for the end of the game. We just lost to the uh, Buffalo Bills, 52 to 24. Wasn't that bad throughout. Uh, kind of got out of hand late in the third. Um, Mainly, oh, oh, we'll go through the team stats. As you can see, uh, it was going into half. It was 10-17. He got the ball first. Can't remember. Did he score at half? He... I think he scored. Yeah. So he went up 24 to 10. We scored. It went. It was 24 to 17. So we were still within our score. We just needed to stop. But it was tough to stop him. We had 21 first downs. He led in rushing and passing yards. Uh, total offense. Obviously, um, turnovers, he was plus four, we were minus four. Definitely didn't want to win the turnover battle. Uh, he led the third down conversions. We had one, um, we were one for two on fourth down. One of the fourth downs were late in the game, and the game was pretty much over. Red zone TD, we had three. Uh, we were 60% in the red zone. We threw an interception in the red zone. Definitely got to make sure we're getting our points. Uh, time of possession, as you can see, we lead there 23 26 to 16 minutes. And a lot of ha that has to do with uh, some of the stats. As you can see, a perfect rating from uh, Josh Allen, 371, five, TG, five TDs, no interceptions. Jared Goff, 370, uh, two and four. So not the greatest game from Jared Goff. JT Daniels ended up throwing the ball. Um, accidentally, we didn't really need to have him in. Uh, Najee Harris, 4.6 yards of carry. Matt Breida, 122. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, David, uh, Devin Singletary. Um, but yeah, uh, Mari Cooper was 7 for 103. Uh, Chase Claypool was 
six for 150. Um, then we had Gronk who got into the end zone three for 45. Laporte had two receptions, so he was involved. Uh, Le'Veon Bell was five for 39, so he got involved. But as you can see, the man DK Metcalf absolutely went off four for 173, three touchdowns. Um, caught us sleeping a couple times. We're gonna jump into it in a second. Uh, defensively, uh, solo tackles Amon Garner was getting in involved. T.J. Watt had a sack, but he got injured. Uh, four interceptions, as you can see. Tre'Davious White got us, and the three safeties actually got us. So, uh, did he have a phone? Did he have a TD? No, he didn't. He had a forced fumble, I think. Oh no, we had a forced fumble. We weren't able to recover it though. Looks like. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, we take the L, 52 to 14. Now let's jump into the. Uh, film room and let's take a look at some of the big plays that led to scores and let's break them down All right, so here we are in a film room and the first play we're gonna break down. This is the red zone This is our first attempt in the red zone. I don't know why Le'Veon Bell was in. maybe Najee was a little tired at that point But we're in the red zone. We got a chance to score and score early put some pressure on the, on the bills Second and goal from the 10 we run a little play action and it, we were supposed to let this develop But we kind of got trigger happy here because his first step with the safety, he's using in the safety right here. So he's using the safety. His first step was forward. He comes over, he goes forward, and then he runs up, and then he runs back. So when he ran up, we thought we had Claypool. And we kind of wanted to lead him into this area right here. To the back of the end zone. We want to float it over the top to the back of the end zone. We throw it. And he kind of, he does float it. But it's it doesn't lead him upfield. I don't know why it didn't lead him lead him upfield. But when he threw it, so let's try to get a better view of this. So we want the back of this end zone right there. So he throws it, and instead of leaving it upfield, it wasn't even a good window to begin with. We wanted it right here. If we're being honest, we wanted it like right, right back here. So right in this area. That's where we wanted it. It didn't get there, and it ended up in an interception. So that was one. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go over to his first touchdown after that. Well, he got. Did he get a field goal? No, we we stopped him, and then uh, we came down. We kicked the field goal, um, and then we threw another interception here. So let's break down this in interception. So this one's to Ashton Davis. We are driving. It's three. It's seven three right now. He's up. We're driving, and we want to hit Najee Harris in this corner route. So we set it up that Najee Harris could potentially get out in this corner route. Make sure we're on Najee. So we want him to get on this corner route. He's in man coverage. We're like, all right, let's 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 give it a shot. See, he's got outside leverage. So we lead it towards the sideline, but he makes a good play with his user, undercuts that route, and goes up and gets it. So that was the second interception. Um bad read by us so here we are after uh i think this is after they score so right now it's about 14 is it 14 3 yeah i think it's 14 3 right now or even uh 10 to 10 to 3 because he kicked the field goal so this is probably after the field goal it's 10 3 we need a score um no actually it's 7 3 7 3 um we need a score um you know put us on the board and we're gonna run a little play action here. This is actually a good play. Run a little play action, we get him. And he has his user come across the field. So this is his user right here. He comes across the field. We're trying to hit this space right here. So right here is where we're trying to hit. It doesn't really get there. As you can see, we're gonna show you right now. It doesn't really get where we want it. See see how wide open he is? We want it in this, the back of the end zone right, right back here. We want it back here. Not over here, not even right in front of him. We want to lead him upfield, but for some reason it doesn't. But we're still able to get it in that little window for a touchdown. So Amari Cooper's first touch, a touchdown as a Steeler um, puts us up 10 to 3. Um, let's jump to another big play uh, where the Bills kind of took advantage. So unfortunately, the play I wanted to show you was it wasn't in the game. So we're going to show you. Uh, our next position. So right now it's 24. This is in the third. So it's 24 to uh, to 10 right now. 24 to 10. So we're here. 24 to 10. We just got a, a first down, I believe. 
This was second and five. So we we just uh, actually ran it. We just actually ran it. Got five yards on the run. Nice and easy. So right now we're going to hit him with some play action. He runs a, a cover zero. And I believe his user was supposed to cover this tight end. If I'm not mistaken. His user was supposed to cover somebody. But uh, Rob Gronkowski gets wide open. Butt ass naked. Over the top. So yeah, his user was definitely supposed to cover that. His, but my uh, so I see that he gets butt ass naked over the top. His uh, safety's right there. That's his user right there at number nine, and we hit Rob Gronkowski for an easy touchdown. So that made it that made it 24 to 17. So let's take a look at the keys to victory. Uh, we just step up. T.J. Watt is talking to our coach, uh, telling us we pretty much just we gotta figure things out. It's a tough first week, you know, we played the Buffalo Bills, probably one of the better users and teams in the league, uh, especially with DK Metcalf on it, so it's a tough show. Uh, we got two new injuries, so let's take a look at that. Uh, so, TJ Watt is out for five weeks. Oh, man, that's tough. Kendrick Green is out for five weeks. Tavondre Sweat was already out. Andrew Brown was already out, so we lost our best, our best defensive uh, player for five weeks so now we gotta adjust the lineup um before we do let's take a look we're gonna take a look at the lineup and we're gonna talk about how they performed as if they lost their starting position all right first things first let's talk about jared Goff. uh tough week from jared you know he had four interceptions two touchdowns um played bad but didn't play terrible uh i think you know mainly it was me um, so we'll give him another shot next week. I, don't, I didn't really notice him being a uh, crutch. Uh, we didn't really get him a running game. We didn't get him much of working on the ground. So can't really blame him there. So we're gonna remain. Uh, Jared, we're gonna keep Jared Goff as a starter for now. Uh, I think we'll be fine with him. Um, Najee Harris not really up for debate. I mean, he averaged four and a half yards per carry. We just had to get away from the run uh, because we got it got out of hand. Our defense didn't hold up the way we wanted to. Uh, Janovic did his job as a fullback. Uh, wish there was better blocking, but we really don't have another choice. Uh, wide receivers, we had 100 yards over for Claypool, 100 yards for uh, Cooper, so we had over 100 from both of them and a TD from uh, Cooper. So, you know, and George Pickens, I don't think he even had a catch, but, you know, these guys got busy and we really can't, you know, talk much about it. Um, they're going to keep their starting positions. Um, as far as that third wide receiver spot right now, um, we have we didn't really use a lot of three wide receiver sets, so we can't really bring, blame George Pickens. But you know, but that's something to talk about later on. Um, as far as the tight end, Rob Gronkowski had a great game. Sam Laporte had a couple of receptions. Uh, definitely their their spots. It's actually one of the bright spots of the game was probably Rob and uh, Laporte getting involved in a passing game. Um, Kevin Dotson. Uh, was good when he came out. He had the two sacks like back to back. He got injured and then boom boom sack sack So uh, definitely need him out there. He, I think he performed pretty well We did have some pressure, but it wasn't crazy and we were able to take some deep shots. So I'm um, not really gonna put it on him. The offensive line as a whole was pretty solid I would say they didn't, they didn't really open up any running lanes. Uh, Logan Bruss is gonna take over for um, He's gonna take over for Kendrick Kendrick Green, that's who I'm talking about. Yeah, Kendrick Green was the starter here. Logan Bruss is gonna be our, our, uh, be the guy that takes over for us. He has okay run block. I mean, definitely not ideal to have him in, but we're gonna have him in for now, and hopefully, you know, it's something we can hide. Uh, we dealt with a bad offensive line already. AJ Can had a solid game. Uh, Trey Turner, the whole offensive line was pretty solid. Could have been better, but they were pretty solid. Uh, step on to it. Uh, the run game for the Bills, it was okay. It wasn't great. Uh, we were able to hold him most of the time. When he, he took one outside run for our touchdown of 65 yards. It was most of his rushing yards. So we're not really going to hold it up against the defensive line. The interior was solid. Uh, Cameron Haywood was solid as well. Uh, Jordan Davis was good. Uh, Linval Joseph didn't really get in there. Uh, maybe we get him in there a little bit more. Uh, Jordan Davis was really good for his first game. I, there was, I remember there was a third one he plugged up pretty good. I, they still got the first, but he did his job plugging that up. 
Um, as far as this outside linebacker spot right now, we're gonna rock with, do we rock with Frank Clark? We're gonna, <clears throat> hmm. Do we rock with Frank Clark? For this left outside line back is spot with uh, TJ Watt now injured uh, for five weeks. We're gonna actually go with Jeremiah Moon. Uh, get him involved. He's the rookie. We want him to get some development. Uh, Frank Clark is more of a third down specialist. He's kind of on the older side. Keep him fresh. Keep him fresh for third down. So um, he'll probably take over there. But we'll put Jeremiah Moon for, uh, you know, uh, first and second down and base set. So that's going to be that. Uh, middle linebacker, Jermaine Carter was solid. Uh, Devin Bush was good. Um, I would say, I say he's solid, but I think that was a down game for Jermaine Carter. Um, I think... We could possibly put Peyton Wilson soon, uh, but for now we'll leave Jermaine Carter. Uh, wish him to be more active in the in the uh, the total in the game at total. So um, as far as covering Devin Bush, uh, didn't have a great game cover wise. We did switch on him. It was kind of our fault, but we want him to be a little better in the in coverage. So oh, we'll be looking at that. Uh, moving on, right outside linebacker Samson. Ubakum. Um, definitely going to be the starter. Uh, like I said, I like him in that base set. Uh, when it comes to, you know, nickel, maybe we take him out. But I think we're going to rock with him and Frank Clark on, on nickel situations since we have TJ Watt out. Mon Garner. Uh, he didn't get burnt. Uh, Damon Arnett, definitely a uh, bad game from him. Uh, actually, we're going to switch him out. Uh, definitely a bad game. Next week, we're going to give Justin Lane a try. Uh, he absolutely got burnt by DK Metcalf. And, you know, we can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. Let's we'll give Justin Lane a try. See if Justin Lane does a little bit better. Um, but this is what we're going to rock with. I think Amon Garner was pretty solid, too. His morale's hurt a little bit, but I think he's solid. I think he was solid that game. Uh, free safety, Mika did his thing. Um, strong safety, though. Terrell Edmonds got beat deep. Uh, we had him too low. And he, he got torched over top DK Metcalf on a on a post route. So DK Metcalf scored over the top of him a couple of times. So uh, definitely got to keep an eye on that. Definitely a down game from him, but obviously we'll keep, we'll keep rocking with him. Maybe we we'll get Bobby Price in occasionally, uh, but that's going to be that for the uh, for those. As far as the nickel, rush right end, rush left end. We're gonna make sure it's Frank Clark and Samson Ubakum. So that's that's how that's how we're gonna rock. And yeah, I mean, not a bad game. Uh, definitely one you gotta chalk up and move on. Not gonna make many changes. We'll see how the, as the season goes on. Uh, if we lose production from some people, we'll start making some changes. But that's what we're gonna rock with. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And we'll uh, be back next week when we take on the Atlanta Falcons.